now to kill everybody. Oh, what's this? I forgot which beer is my favorite. I'm going to have to try them all. Again. Huh. Hey, Lloyd! Be an beer. It's you, isn't it? Beer? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? God damn it, Hope Within Chaos. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again. It looks like that RuneScape streamer. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. So I like the actual, I like the actual in-game armor. I think it looks cool. This one looks awesome. Do you want me to use? Hmm. Oh, that gives me sneak. This gives me more sneak. Oh. Okay, so this is sneak. This is arrow damage. That's sneak. That's all like protections and stuff, right? I think I'm gonna use the regular shit because like we want to go with the whole. We want to go with the whole like the storyline, right? Or do you want to go with the? Let me sell some of this shit, right? Let me. The fashions are all done. 
Storyline for now. All right, we'll go with storyline for now. Yeah. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Is that tree here? Whatever. Oh, I should have used that stuff, huh? Well, fuck. Now we know. Alright, well, we're gonna have to go find some more stuff then, alright? That just means we're gonna have to kill more people. Well, more things, right? Yep. That's cute. Alright, I'm down. I like... CTF mode? Uh, maybe a little bit. Not really too, looking too for, forward to it too much. I don't need it, but I want it. Interesting. I feel like it'll be a, a big quality of life thing that I want. I want. Hot as a forest fire. Jog. Get down from there. Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, what an idiot he is. Every year this happens, every year. This is not trying to run a brave trail. Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want! Yeah, I will! 
Listen carefully now. It's not my name. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. Diamond one. I tried pushing him, dude. Aloy, over here. Oh, what's up, dude? Karst, what are you doing here? How you doing, Uncle? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. I usually do really well in my games. It's just my team kind of fucked me over in that game against you, Gen. So, Lars Hart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I would never dream. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Always happy to take Prick. I love how they just keep on giving me free treasure boxes. In a moment we shall bless the That's what's up, dude. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. The Fire Nation. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude. Get Garrett is the best. Yeah, killers and slavers. Hey, hey, Luminance hold your mouth. fruit, nor oh. nor if faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight: the Thirteenth John King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister would take it. I hated the card. But the 13th king is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? I don't know, Mike. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. He moves on the door on the eve of your proving, unknown device no, detected. The with the god of Rufus, just like mine. The path should be left in the As those you have Where did you find a focus? Take their places among your brain. All mother can join your prayers. Everyone's Is acting like these cursed cards. You're the only other here. person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? 
apologies. Ah, uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. <laughs> I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. Might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Alright, you need you need to stop talking shit. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. But Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Oh, this exactly like the skills guess you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. Oh, she got Ursa. away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing. Too. God damn! See you around, maybe? Jesus Christ! I've never been so hit on in my entire life. I'm all, I'm offended. He was extremely polite to me. How dare he? Does he not know I am a strong, independent, red-headed teenage girl? I wish we got to enjoy this. Really? Are you like? That's like me when I run like two steps. She's out of breath. All right, calm down, girl. Take take a break, breather. Relax. You're all right. You good now? You not tired anymore? All right, let's 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 move forward. All right, come on. We could walk. We don't even have to run. We'll walk. I know you're tired. I'm sorry. Let's start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Oh, what's up, Irid? Uh, oh. Expecting more tomatoes? In truth, I, I thought they were th throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up, or do anything else that angers these people. He did pretty much whip his dick out in that conversation. I don't blame him. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Thank you. Thanks, Grandma. Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants. 
Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Hmm. Brew's even better than last year, and that's a feat. Ugh. Where the fuck is Olin at? What the fuck away? Hi, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Your homeboy got some serious chess here. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. He's hiding something. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me, that's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition. And He's just mad he got called out for being a liar. All. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's got to make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Dude, why you got such a fucking attitude? I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really is. It kind of is. You it's should. a little bit personal. Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Peace. 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 We running. We bucking it. Oh my god. Did you say? Find your bed outcast and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh my god. Oh, this is the bed house? 
With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Are you gonna let Boss? We talk saw to you today? talking with the I outsiders. Wouldn't. Couldn't convince them to take you out. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day <laughs> was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. like her oh she's a good character nice I like her a lot bust. that should keep him quiet till morning anyway I don't believe we've met I'm Aloy oh I know who you are the competition the others they'll finish the proving most of them but win it that's down to Bost you or me Vala nice to meet you Vala you're right I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? At least she's nice. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Eh. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. I like that I just have a choice to respond however I want. And like, I don't have like a meter, like a paragon meter that I have to fill. Like I could just answer the way I want to answer and just do what I want to do. I really enjoy that. That's nice. It's a choice system without like... The bullshit. Can I trip him and make him die?
Braves, ready yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Please. 